are available through the extension. Mark? Okay. Thank you, Mike. And uh, as they, my presentation loads, I'd just like to say, uh, you know, appreciate your mm -hmm. attention this afternoon and uh, your uh, sticking with us. Um, now that uh, Chris, Mike, and Fred have shown you some of the challenges uh, facing uh, uh, small farms, the um, uh, those, of, those of us that work with small farm operators, I, I want to share some of the uh, some resources that you might find useful. I hope you've noticed today that many of the issues facing small farmers are similar to those that uh, are faced by the larger operations, but due to constraints, constraints such as money, time, and knowledge level, the way we approach these challenges must be different. Over the next few minutes, I hope to introduce you to some new tools that I hope for your toolbox that I um, hope uh, you'll find useful. But first, let me start by introducing you to eExtension. Uh, it's been mentioned several times today already, and I hope you've had a, a chance to look at those. Um, but if not, um, I think that it's uh, it may be one of the best kept secrets. I know it is here on campus, and uh, but uh, I hope you will take uh, some time to look at that. It is pronounced uh, E extension. Um, it's a, it's a uh, uh, collaborative effort of, of being put together by the land grant universities that uh, provide uh, faculty uh, the ability for faculty to work together uh, to provide science-based information to solve problems and answer questions. Um, while still somewhat in its infancy, I think it holds great promise as we strive to um, make research-based solutions and information available to an audience on demand. If you can remember the one at address, www.extension.org, and have access to a computer with internet access, you have access to some of the best science-based information available. If you'll bear with me just a second while I switch over to uh, um, another format. Um, you go to www.extension.org. Um, the resource areas are, are on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, the animal manure management. And then under animal manure management is the, um, the topics that are covered under that area, with the small farms being one of those areas. And, uh, and then I say you can either, there are links within the page, the text in blue, or hot links direct, directly to information on that topic. Um, and, uh, and then there's also the, all the articles that relate to small farms and manure management are available under the link uh, uh, about all, all, all the articles, um, which is where, um, found the, the question about managing manure management and then following that link to the nutrient planning on small farms. And um, the other uh, aspect, uh, if, if you can't find the information that you want on the, uh, on the web pages, there's also a feature that uh, uh, to ask an expert. And uh, so if you have a specific question that's not uh, addressed by the web pages, you can ask the expert. It does ask you for some information about yourself. But that is primarily to uh, so that the um, answer can be targeted towards your geographic area. If it's uh, something that might be uh, relative to weather uh, conditions, um, and a, an expert from uh, your region would be uh, sent that to question to, to answer. As an example, I just want to. Uh, I show you, I put in a question, and then the, the system will go in and search through a database of frequently asked questions, see if a similar question to yours has been answered. Um, if it, it'll come up with a list of questions and answers um, that have some of those keywords, and um, you can you can look at those if they don't uh, meet your needs or answer your specific question, you can always, you can go back and submit that question to an, and uh, it will be uh, directed to the 
uh, an expert in your area with uh, expertise in that topic and generally have a response back within 48 hours. The uh, e-extension network also has a regular um, uh, search function and uh, since we were talking about the uh, small farms fact sheets earlier, if you forget, uh, can't find those links within the web pages, you can go directly, uh, you can search for those and uh, they'll come up as the uh, small farms fact sheet. This is a set of fact sheets that was put together to deal with environmental issues and small farm. Uh, many of them, uh, well no, a couple of them are uh, available in both English and Spanish. Uh, the one on uh, uh, small farms environmental stewardship is one of those that is in both languages. These uh, fact sheets are ready to use so you can print them out, hand them to a producer. Uh, they can be made available. If you want to modify them, we can uh, uh, make them available in a, a Word format too if, you needed to be, if they needed to be modified for site-specific or state-specific uh, uh, purposes. The, um, the one that uh, we were talking about earlier, the Nutrient Management Simplified, take a look at that in a little more. Is, is everyone seeing this, I hope? Um, Yes, Mark, I see it. Okay, great. We're seeing it. Those, um, the, the things that, uh, the example that Mike uh, addressed is in here, and, uh, and then each, everything is, is broken down into, um, in an easy read format with uh, the, some of the highlights, uh, highlighted points you know, brought out in the, uh, in the text, talking about the soil testing in the field and applying uh, manure at month, monthly rates rather than uh, uh, having to have uh, calibration, uh, spreader calibration. And so those, those are, uh, I think, a, a good tool with a, dealing with a diverse uh, small farm audience. If, um, This is coming back up. Uh, just like to uh, talk about just re real briefly the on the uh, the fact sheets, the nutrient management. It's aimed at the uh, small farms, small scale farmers with uh, that multiple livestock uh, species and haul on a daily or, or weekly basis. Um, manure testing is not necessarily, and nor is uh, spreader calibration. And uh, soil testing is suggested. The uh, also gives the, the best management practices for uh, manure application on the small farm. And then at the end of the uh, fact sheet, there are uh, some points to remember to try and reinforce some of the uh, important topics like uh, using the, the book values uh, rather than uh, uh, manure testing, uh, soil testing in each field talked about and uh, the application rate and then using commercial fertilizer to meet uh, crop needs uh, at the end, the small scale uh, farm environmental stewardship, uh, here again that one is available in both English and Spanish. And it, kind of, it gives uh, an overview of a lot of the environmental issues as well as providing uh, some of the uh, best management practices that uh, could be used to, uh, to address the uh, small farm issues. Um, it does have a, uh, a assessment tool, a uh, simplified assessment tool, looking at some of the uh, factors important uh, to address with your farm, like the number and type of animals and keeping, making sure that there's a, enough acreage to uh, successfully manage those that number of animals that you have. Um, and then the, another one I'll highlight, uh, manure on your farm, is it an asset or a liability? This fact sheet compares the, uh, the benefit 
of, of, of manure and uh, helps identify some of the beneficial aspects of, uh, of using manure on the farm, but as well as pointing out some of the uh, uh, practices that can increase the value of that manure if you need to take it off farm, things like composting to uh, uh, reduce the pathogen levels and provide a more stable product for, uh, for sale uh, used by off farm. Uh, with that, uh, and our time is running short, I apologize, but I'll turn it back over to Mike to uh, direct uh, questions. Thanks, Mark. Okay, we'd like to go ahead and uh, thanks for everybody's participation today. And uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, um, take a look at some questions. If you have any questions, you can submit those on.